Hello everyone, this is Sybil. Look at this beautiful altered frame. I received this last week from Linda, who is FaithChick777 here on YouTube. I'm going to put her channel link down below in case you're one of the few that aren't familiar with Linda's channel. I have been following her for years and years, and um, her art is absolutely stunning. And this piece is just exquisite. I received this last week and was completely surprised um, and I contacted Linda and told her thank you and I thought how did she, she did have my address in Oregon um, but I didn't think she had my you know Missouri address and I thought I wonder how she got my address and then I thought I bet you she got it from P <laughs> and she did but I want to give you a little backstory here. Um, Linda is, like I mentioned, a beautiful artist, and she's also from the state that I used to live, my family, and I lived, we, my husband and I, we raised our sons out there in Oregon, and so I'm in my heart forever an Oregonian, and, um, and also Linda is a Christian, and when I received back in the end of February, February or maybe it was in March, I received um, a suspicious reading on my mammogram. I contacted a few ladies and Linda was one of them and I asked for prayer. And um, I contacted these ladies because I knew they would pray for me and um, just hold my hand through the process, even across the miles. And so then when I did get the diagnosis of breast cancer, I continued in communication with the, this group of ladies. And in time, that, that little circle of ladies grew to a larger circle um, because I did share that on YouTube that I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And then as my journey continued and I found out I needed a double mastectomy. These um, ladies really supported me with prayer. And just, you know, when you go through a dark time, even as a Christian, we go through dark times. And we still love the Lord. We still believe in the Lord, but we're human. And life gets difficult and it gets hard. And so they would send me encouraging notes, emails, um, private messages and Linda was one of these ladies and when I would I don't know I don't know I mean I I do know it was the Lord when I would feel sometimes just at my darkest you know um, I would receive communication from one of these ladies and um, so as an example when I received this beautiful frame last week I contacted Linda told her thank you so much and how much I loved it and um, I'm not sure how our conversation ended up but I started telling her about a situation I was going through with our insurance our former insurance that we had at the time of my diagnosis so with all those tests and everything and the trouble we are having with getting them to pay um, on those claims and so Linda had a very similar situation and so she was able to encourage me in that and I just think that is so precious that's how the Lord does he sets us and surrounds us with those that can encourage us that will speak hope into our heart and into our life and look what this says hope captured isn't that beautiful and so I'm gonna Maybe I should hold this here. No, I'll go ahead and bring this up. So it's a frame that she altered and it has like wire behind. I'm gonna turn it back in the back first before I get ahead of myself here. And it's, her card says, live your life, capture your moment, create your story every day. Handmade for you by Linda. And then a little heart there and it says 2018 YouTube Faith Chick 777. So it's like a wired frame that she altered just beautifully. 
and there is so much detail here. I love all the layering. So you've got some wood veneer here, beautiful papers and lace, all you know, different frames, different embellishments, gorgeous flowers, just the shimmer and the shine stitching on the paper here. I mean, every time I look at this, I see more beauty that I didn't see previously. It is, it is exquisite. So I'm just going to show it to you real quick, just so you can see all the pretty detail. And I don't even think my camera is doing it justice. Look at the air balloon. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I showed it to my husband. My husband was home. Um, he surprised me and came home for a visit this weekend. And I shared this with him and it's just beautiful. The dove, I love everything about this, Linda. Thank you so much, my sweet friend, for reminding me, you know, and consistently praying with me and encouraging me to not lose hope. And Linda also, not, not only did she send me this beautiful piece of art, she sent me, look at these beautiful laces and trims and like the pretty colored burlap here and linen. And then even some pretty flowers here. But look at this. Isn't this pretty? Oh, it's just beautiful. And then some pretty eyelet trim. And it has little hearts on it. And then this trim with green ribbon running behind it. And then look at this one. Looks like crocheted with the flowers there. And the soft, pale green trim lace. And then a pink. It's got little daisies on it and hearts. Oh, I don't think you can probably see that. Maybe if I hold it onto this, you can see the little hearts there. Yep. So thank you so, so much, Linda, for this beautiful Happy Mail and for touching my heart with your friendship and holding my hand and encouraging me across the miles. Um, without going through a bunch of detail, Linda also, her life has been um, touched by cancer. And so she came through and she is such an encouragement to everyone and um, definitely an encouragement to me, Linda. You really blessed my heart um, with this beautiful, beautiful for altered frame here. I'm gonna hang this in a special place in my home and every day I'm gonna look at it and just be in awe of your art and of the truth that in the Lord we have hope always. Thank you everyone for watching. I will be back in a little bit because I have some small, a small um, happy mail and a little update on my giveaway. Thank you, everyone. Thank you again, Linda. God bless everyone. Bye-bye now.